Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, CV Breach coming to you, and um, I'm very, very surprised. On Sunday night, I put up some videos um, just stating that um, TNA should say that they're sorry to their fans for, you know, basically the main event that they popped out on the uh, Victory Road 2011 pay per view. Uh, basically, a 90 second uh, main event of Sting versus Jeff Hardy just isn't going to be enough. And um, I guess enough people popped out videos, I guess enough people complained. I know basically uh, the the uh, website nodq.com. Uh, they were they were popping out lots and lots of tweets, getting people fired up. Um, basically, just saying that you know TNA Dixie Carter, um, the people in charge just hadn't you know they, they they needed to admit that they were sorry to their fans, and um, TNA actually has apologized to their fans. I'm very very surprised. I've never really seen anything like this uh, before. I've seen sometimes you no. Know, when uh, wrestlers pop out a shit match, you know, they've, they've come out and sort of apologized via Twitter or uh, some other way, but I actually never thought that they would do something like this, and I'm very, very surprised. I don't even know if I should um, bash them for this or, you know, congratulate them for moving in the right direction, but basically, if you bought the uh, 2011 uh, Victory Road pay-per-view, and um, once you get your cable receipt, uh, you can mail it in. Uh, and receive um, six months of free access to the TNA On Demand website. Um, so basically, if, if you bought this, you're going to get six months of the uh, the On Demand stuff, which is basically almost anything TNA's ever done, uh, all their pay-per-views, all their DVDs, and so on and so forth. And um, I think I think this is actually pretty good for them. I think that. Uh, it's gonna be able to show those fans that plop down the forty bucks. The uh, the few of them I, I haven't seen a number of how many people actually ordered the event, how good of a buy rate they actually did. But um, man, I, I guess they are trying to keep the fans that they actually have, and they know that they plopped out some shit on Sunday. And um, I mean, this is the closest they can do to, besides for just posting up on, uh, somewhere just <laughs> an actual apology uh, from them. But you know anybody who uh, who paid that money is probably going to think that they got their money's worth now. I don't know if that means they're ever going to buy a pay per view from you guys again, but at least they're going to get their money's uh, their, their money's worth. So um, Tina actually said sorry. I I can't believe it. Hopefully they'll be able to watch uh, some of that good classic TNA. I I remember uh, 2004, 2005, 2006. That's when TNA had it. That's when you looked at TNA and you're like, man, they're catching up and and they're going to get there fast. Uh, that was the closest you actually thought they came to be an actual competitive uh, number two. Um, somehow they just fell off the fell off the tracks, and um, I, I honestly don't think people will buy the pay per views again. But at least the people that, that paid for that pay per view are going to get this money worth. So thank you, TNA, for sort of apologizing.